Today we're going to tie a golden demon. And for a thread, I like using a tobacco brown thread on this. Uh, just creates a nice head for the, the sh colors of this fly. Really enjoy that color. Stop my thread back from the eye. I'm going to take some golden pheasant crest. I like a pretty full tail on this, so I'm going to take two or three of these feathers. And if you notice, these have a natural concave to them. I'm going to have them so they're curved up, and I want them to be gap length past the bend. So I'm going to measure here. And when I get them the right length, I'll attach them. And I want those, like I said, I want these to stay concave up. So I'm going to attach those back where our thread is now. I want those to stay right on top. I get them the right, right length, just what I want. And I'm going to wrap those the length of the shank. Since we're doing a tinsel body, I want a nice smooth base to wrap that tinsel on. Attach my tinsel right there where our thread is now. turn the fly over now for the throat. In the throat I want some orange hackle fibers. I'm going to take these webby fibers here to make our throat. I like a nice full throat on this also. I'm going to measure that up there. I want my throat to be the same length as my tail. Measure the bunch. I'm going to switch hands. Cut that leaving just enough to tie on. Nice full throat on that. 
take a pair of matching bronze mallet flying feathers. I got a left hand side and a right hand side. I'm going to clean this feather up now so I can get the bobs that I want off of it. I'll get rid of this fluff on the bottom. And I'm going to cut about a quarter of an inch into this feather. I'm going to take that off and lay that down on the table. And I'm going to do that, take another quarter of an inch. I'm going to do a double wing on this. I like my wings nice and heavy. I'm going to lay that directly on top of the bunch I just took. Now I have something that looks like this. I'm going to take my other feather now, clean that up, same thing, I'm going to cut about a quarter of an inch in, take those fibers off, lay them down, another quarter of an inch. I am directly on top of my first bunch. I'm going to wet them in my mouth just a little bit to keep them all together right where I want them. I've got one bunch on top of the other. Now if you notice again these have a little natural concave to them. I'm going to take one bunch and lay it on top of the second bunch concave together. So now I have all four of those pieces that I cut off concave together. I want this to be to my tail I'm going to hold it up there where I want it. I'm now going to switch hands. Here comes the tricky part. I'm going to bring my thread now back as far back as I'm going to have the head of this fly. I'm going to lay those feathers, make sure those feathers where I want them, squeeze them tight, hold them right on top. Right where our thread is. I'm going to bring the thread up, pinch it with my thumb and forefinger, bring it around the back, and pull towards me. Now I'm going to take four or five turns going towards the eye of the hook. And now lift those, those fibers up and cut them good and close. Now I can finish off my head.